afternoon and thank everyone for being at today's ribbon cutting ceremony to celebrate the completion of the first roundabout in the area. I'm sure everyone here today is as happy as we are to see this intersection reopen to traffic. Yes. The intersection is heavily traveled and was in dire need of improvement to reduce traffic delays. After look, researching the best solutions, it was determined the roundabout would be the most cost effective to reduce delays and ensure the safety of the drivers. This nearly $1.2 million project was made possible through partial funding from the Ohio Public Works Commission in the amount of $700,000, a TID grant from the from Lorraine County, and several of those people are here today. I can't name them all, but uh, Matt Lundy, uh, Ken Carney, and Senator Manning are all on that board. Uh, uh, Ted Cato, I'm not sure if he's, you on it, Ted? Ted's on it. Uh, anybody else here on the TED board that I miss? And then the balance will be split between uh, the city of Avon along with North Ridgeville. This is a true testament of what you can do when two communities work together. And American Structure Point uh, did a great job in guiding us through the prop, uh, process. I also want to take the opportunity to thank KMU Trucking and Excavating, who did a great job in completing the construction in an efficient and timely manner. Also, uh, I want to mention GPI, who performed construction inspection and subcontractor Smith Paving, Precision Paving, Griffith Paving. It takes three different paving companies to do a circle. <laughs> Hubris Landscaping, Garcia Surveyors, and Lesher Tree. At least, and last but not least, Willoway Nurseries for the beautifying the center of the roundabout. All of these organi organizations working together made this roundabout possible and I wish to wholeheartedly thank everyone that was involved. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Mayor Britton Jensen.